Okay, quick project on the V12 XJS. I found that when I was driving in the winter, I would select a cool temperature on the um, temperature, temperature selector, and it would go cool, and the air conditioner would kick in, and then I'd select hot, and no hot air would come out of the vents down below. So all the vents were moving, but the hot air wasn't flowing. So I checked, uh, in situ, I checked the water valve uh, that is this device, uh, I checked this and I found a few things. First of all, I, f I found I was getting a vacuum from this supply. And when I applied a vacuum to here, this valve goes up. And I will, um, I will show you that. So anyway, what was happening though, it was sticking. Like if I push it up now, I won't try and do it in one hand. If I push it up, it's stuck. So I've taken it apart with the view of cleaning it. And I'm just going to show you how, where it goes and how to get it out. This is the... Uh, I guess it's the air balancer between the banks that comes away. There's a there's a hose there which I haven't disconnected because last time I did I forgot to put it back and I had to remove the thing again. And then there it sits. It's connected with two bolts which go here into the bulkhead underneath there. It's a bit difficult to get to but not too bad. And then you pull it out and if it hasn't come off for a while it's going to be stiff but then you can get it out. So I've got it on the bench. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is the device. If, you, if I put the light on, let me just put the light on. Where do I get that? Hmm, well, let's forget the light. But you can see down in there, it's pretty ropey. Um, I'll give it a good clean up. But let me, anyway, watch. No, I've done, I just did a quick bench test before I started this video again. But if we apply. A vacuum nicely goes up. If I release, I'm only halfway up. If I release the vacuum, yep, it um, clo uh, opens. So it's ordinarily open, which is nice for re re uh, reapplying coolant. And then I apply more vacuum. If I get it fully open, now that's where it was sticking. If I release it now, yeah, there you go. That's stuck. So, demonstrating the problem. I'm going to try and clean that up. Now, I've also bought this one. Uh, it was indicated in Kirby's book. That's the part number. The difference is it's got a, a bigger vacuum hose, so I got little attachments. I got this, ended up getting this for 12 bucks, and this for about 5 bucks. So like and this is ordinarily open. Kirby reckons this is a much better... Um, a much better... Uh, valve i'm going to try and get this going first because i like to keep things original um i guess i could put them both in then i know it's going to work it's going to close again when the vacuum drops but i'm going to clean this up first anyway i just thought i'd show you it show you where it goes show you how to take it out and that sort of thing i like to watch before i do a job so i'm doing it for anyone else so i've doused it with wd-40 making sure that I get the, if you can see in there, that I get the, I get it sort of um, into these bit, into <laughs> into these bits here, and this bit here. So I'm sort of putting it on its back, sl squirting it in there, and just dousing it. I've got it under vacuum now. It's been under vacuum for a couple of minutes. Let's see if it releases. Yes, it does. Let's see if I can. Apply a vacuum again. Release. Looks like it's getting better. I'm going to keep on at this and I'm going to free it up and put it back on. So there it is. It's sort of cleaned up. I'm going to get a light in there. You can see I cleaned it all up with a, with a brush like this. A lot of crap came out. Cleaned that up just because I like to put things back clean. And I've put so much oil on it and now you can see apply the vacuum right to the top very smooth and you can see it gurgling because I put so much oil in it Hopefully that will come out if it doesn't work it's sort of 20 minutes to get back in there and I have this one just in case so I'm gonna put it back on now okay getting it back in now I have to say I wish I hadn't taken it <laughs> taking it off but I had to getting it back in under there 
it's not impossible. I feel I need to be an octopus. I ended up putting, well, I dropped one bolt down there, never to be seen again, but I managed to find another one after searching through random old bolts. A um, little bit of electrical tape on the bolt, stuffed into the socket, and then really struggling to get it in there. Just a word of caution. Okay, got it on, but that was not easy. Have some spare screws. Use insulating tape to hold the screw into the socket. Make sure you get a socket. What happens is, as you line up the plate with the bulkhead, and then you come to put the screw in, you lose sight of it. It's not easy. Well, just a bit of caution. But there it is. It's back in. Looks better than it did. I've greased up the uh, hose ends, and I'm going to uh, put the hoses back on.